VP Chintan was uh, very difficult to describe. He was an extraordinary person. He belonged to that uh, great generation of uh, freedom fighters, communists, people who, who brought together their activities as freedom fighters, mass, organizing, mass organizers, trade union, trade unionists, uh, organizers of the agrarian, of the agrarian working people, and their participation in the communist movement, together into one, into a single, it was melded into one human being. And it was for a whole, that was for a whole generation, uh, was characterized by this sort of combination. Chintan was an, VPC was an extraordinary representative of that, uh, of that generation. We, many of us who came to the left movement in the 1960s and 70s, one of the great collective gifts that my generation received was the mentorship of people like VP Chintan. There's, uh, there's no question about it. They were, they were fundamental in, uh, in molding us as human beings, as academics, or whatever we did. Or, you know, some of us, some became activists, some joined uh, trade unions, some joined uh, the left political movement, some became academics. But they were, they, they, this generation played perhaps the, the most fundamental role in, uh, in, uh, in molding us. Uh, I was I was a student in Chennai in those uh, between uh, from from 19, from my BA to my PhD from 1969 onwards, and Chintan used to uh, it was a he would not only know what we were reading every day if he saw us he'd say what are you reading why are you reading that what did you learn from that so what are you reading was always a que the first question that this. Uh, political leader would ask us. The other thing is, tomorrow there's a strike in so-and-so uh, in so -and -so industry, there'll be a mass meeting at the gate, please come and bring, your, bring other students there. It was, he was sort of, he really tried, tried to make us uh, internalize the, the idea of study and struggle. You know? he, he, there was emphasis on both. You had to study. If you did not study, well, Chintan was not very interested in this. If you did not study uh, as a student, if you, or if you, even if you are a trade unionist, if you did not study, you know, if you did not study the history, study history or politics or, or uh, dialectics, it was a disappointment for him. At the same time, you had to part. Your the test of whether you are you were learning was also whether you participated in. In not only in uh, elections and election campaigns, but in the day-to-day -day struggles of the, work, of the working people. So the other th thing was, we, Chintan was not only known as, you know, as, a, as a, a political and mass leader who, is, who worked among the people and on, this, you know, uh, on the ground. He was also one of the greatest teachers. He, he took classes on a variety of, on a variety of subjects for for different sections, for workers, for, for, for peasants and agricultural workers, for students, for youth. And his classes were, what, they were always houseful, shall we say. They were always houseful classes. Everyone, when they knew, when people knew that there was a class going, uh, that Chintan was taking the class, well, he was a very popular teacher. In fact, he was, here was a man who left at the call of Gandhi, left school at the end of elementary school. He left element, at the end of elementary school, but, and the studies, the studies he uh, undertook were mainly, I mean, he used to say that my university was jail, were the jails. Uh, the classes that he, uh, he, uh, that he attended in jail were his university. And this was a university where actually he became qualified as a professor for the work, for working class, uh, for working class uh, study groups. He was particularly well known. I think, uh, I mean, VMS is here. He he knows well. He is somebody who also was uh, deeply influenced, of course, by by uh, VPC. On there was a very famous lecture on the the program. Uh, one was on 
the working class and the freedom movement in India, the very famous one on Indian politics, and the other subject on which he spent a great deal of time uh, teaching was dialectical materialism. I know that Jairaman's first class in, in dialectics was uh, with VPC. So dialectics, and it's very interesting that VPC was very, was very key in that, um, that those who understood materialism and historical materialism had to have a firm grounding in dialectics. Jairam, and that's going to be the subject of Jairam's lecture, I'm sure. But uh, this was, it was an extraordinary, it was an extraordinary thing that, uh, that a person like this was, uh, was, you know, when he, when he took classes, was able to bring his worldview together, whatever he was teaching, and, and uh, everything that he taught, even when he taught subjects related to history and politics, it was informed by his understanding of dialectical materialism.